If any of you have worked fast food, I'm very sorry. I'm with you and that shit sucked. Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. My name is Adrian, and this is Uno, and welcome back to another story time video. All right, so as many of you know, I have referenced a few times on this channel, I used to work at Taco Bell and it sucked. I worked there for about two years. Uh, that was my very first job and it wasn't all bad, but like for the majority of it, like it was, it was, it was not good. Obviously being there for two years, I've racked up a couple stories from working at Taco Bell. And this is one of the earliest ones to happen and one of the crazier ones to happen as well. Um, so, from the title of this video, I'm pretty sure you can tell what happened. Uh, my co-worker stole money from Taco Bell. <laughs> now, it was like, it wasn't like they just like ran into the cash register and took out like hundreds of dollars. No, 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 no. They were, it, this was a whole ass scheme. This involved multiple people, specifically three of them, um, that all did this shit collectively throughout. And uh, they eventually got caught. So, how did this happen, you may ask? Well, um, it all started when I originally was starting out at Taco Bell, right? Some people like to go to go through drive throughs just to get a drink. You know, Taco Bell has freezes, um, which are basically ICs or like whatever the hell you refer to them as. They're basically that, right? They're frozen drinks that they're actually pretty good. However, they are sweet as hell sometimes. And I, I just can't, I think Baja Blast, in my opinion, is the best one because it's the most neutral, it's not too sweet. And it's also like, you know, it's just a nice balance of everything. So for me, Baja Blast was always the best. But some people would go to the drive through just for that, just to get a few freezes, right? Um, and this happened on the first day I was there, right? So the first day I was there, the person training me, um, for this story's sake, I think I called him Sebastian last time, so we're gonna call him Sebastian again, right? Um, so Sebastian, um, like I, I had taken an order for just two freezes, right? And then the people come through the drive-thru and then Sebastian's like, hey, yo, look, watch this, right? They give him cash, right? They give him cash to pay for the drinks, right? He looked at how much the total is and then did instant math in his head and opened the cash register, gave them the difference and then pocketed the cash. So they gave him the cash, right? And then he looked at the amount that they had to pay versus the amount they gave him. And he did some like quick mental math, grabbed the key, opened the cash register. He put in the, cause they gave him a $10 bill. He put in the $10 bill, gave them the change, but then took what they would have paid. Just the bills, he didn't take the change. And then they left. And I just stood there like, the fuck oh this nigga then looks at me and then he was like yeah bro whenever somebody orders a drink and they give you cash like and, and they order just a drink just do that and like you get like free like like free money and i and then i asked him i was like they can't they like catch that or something and then they're like nah bro they'll never catch it bro trust like you want to do it and i was like i for some reason like something was just telling me like my gut was telling me they are going to get caught eventually. Do not do this. And so I was like, you know what, bro? Like, nah, like I'm chilling, man. Like maybe, uh, maybe later, I don't know, bro. I don't know. And then he was like, all right, bro, don't worry. I won't snitch if you start doing it. And I was like, all right. Then that happened, right? And then throughout the course of me working there for like the next like three, four months, right? That me working there. I not only saw this kid do repeatedly, but I also saw two other of my coworkers doing it all the time whenever somebody orders a drink and they're in the cash they go ahead put the money in take it out right i would stay silent as if i didn't even see anything right now some people may say adrian what the fuck that's kind of wrong you should have told your manager but listen i ain't no snitch all right listen eventually they were gonna get caught and if i were to, to have gotten in trouble for knowing about it and not saying anything i would have been like listen i i didn't take nothing i wasn't a part of this all right, I didn't even know they were doing this, shit, right? This was going on for a few months, right? And eventually, right, 
um, our regional manager or like the district manager, whatever the fuck she's called. I personally refer to her as the big boss lady um, because she was big. She, uh, one day, she hadn't visited our store in like months, like since like my second week there, she hadn't visited. So she came to visit the store, saw like someone was going on. She saw everybody. She was like, hi, this and this and that, right? And then for some reason, she was treating, at that point, I had Sebastian there with me, right? And she was treating Sebastian specifically differently than everybody else. She was being a little bit more nasty to him, you know, a little bit more rude, right? This nigga didn't care, though. He was like, yeah, bro, like, she's a bitch. I don't give a fuck, man. I, don't, I do not like this woman. Then I saw her call over my manager, like the main manager, to the office, right? And I saw them, like, they were discussing. They were, like, talking but like very quietly and like it looked very serious right now i look at sebastian this nigga cannot give a fuck we were at the we were at the drive-thru register this nigga was on his phone in the cash just like texting his girl or something man but i saw something going on there and i was like hmm something's fishy that pretty much happened then the lady leaves she as, as she's walking out she looks at sebastian keep in mind sebastian's on his phone he don't give a fuck he's on his phone whatever right she ends up leaving you know, the day goes by, whatever, I go home. I come back the next day. So I come back the next day, and I was supposed to work with another one of my coworkers. Um, but he was supposed to be there before me, but he wasn't there. So I was just like, uh, I, I remember I walked in and everything. I put my stuff down, I got ready. And then I like I, I see that he's not there, and I ask, like, hey, like, where, where's this guy? Like, where is he? Like, is he not coming in today? And they were like, nah, nah, like, um, something happened. He's not coming in today, right? And I was like, oh, okay, all right, cool. Now, mind you, I didn't have any of my coworkers' numbers because I wasn't really friends with them. I Like, I just, like, chill with them at work because, you know, we're at work. But, like, I would never talk to them outside of work. You get what I mean? Right? So, we had, so that happened. Hold on. So I was working throughout the day and then a new, uh, cause we had, there was the way that Taco Bell worked, right? Is that there was the main manager of the store. There were the assistant managers. And then there were the other managers that were like shift leads more than managers, but they were also considered managers, right? So then this one manager comes in who's super chill and I love her to death, right? And she actually had a really good friendship with one of the other, um, cashiers. One of the ones that was doing this, right? As a matter of fact, he was the one that I was supposed to be working with that day. So I, so like when she comes in, right, I asked her, "Hey, uh, where, where is this guy? Like, is like, is he sick or something? Is he not coming in?" And then she was like, "He doesn't work here anymore." What? I didn't know he put in a two-week notice. And she was like, "Oh no, like, he's, like, he got fired." What? This dude, the one that she was referring to was like the best worker there. He was a, like, I remember at, like at one point, like a few weeks ago, he was about to turn 18. And so like, then they like threw a little celebration. They were like, we're gonna promote you to a manager. You're gonna start getting paid. You're gonna start getting paid so-and-so amount of money. And they really liked this guy at this Taco Bell. So I was starstruck. Imagine my surprise when I heard this nigga got fired. I was like, okay, and what about, uh, Sebastian because he was also supposed to come in later because he was gonna close and they were like nah He doesn't work here anymore either. He also got fired as well as um, The other guy, you know the the one all three of the cashiers that were there when I was there got fired and I was like Wait, so I'm the only cashier here. Now? Yeah, and I was like Oh f So then later on right as the night was getting like slow because it was a Monday Right, I remember it was a Monday and it was like getting slow. So then I asked, I asked her later when there were no cars in the drive thru I was like, "Hey, what, what, um, what happened to to these guys? Like, like, what's up with that? Like, what happened with them?" And and my the response I received was, um, "Yeah, they 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 had been stealing money from the register for months, um, almost like a year. Uh, so and then you know, our regional manager." caught them on camera doing it multiple times and so they got fired and now like something's gonna happen and i was just like 
Oh my God. If my gut had not told me to not steal the money, I would have been part of that people. Holy. So yeah, I ended up finding out. And then I remember I ended up calling my then girlfriend at the time, telling her, yo, you will never believe what happened. These three dumbass motherfuckers got fired because they were stealing money from the cash register. And now I'm the only cashier. So they're about to work me like a fucking horse. Yeah, bro. I, I was I was not excited about that because I knew I was going to get worked like a fucking horse because I was the only cashier there. But that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, those things got fired. I, I, I never saw two of them again. I remember seeing one of them again that actually went through the drive through for that Taco Bell. And I clapped him up and everything. And I was like, yo, my guy, you really got fired for this shit, bro. And he was like... Yeah, bro, we were supposed to, like, pay something, but, like, I blocked them. I changed my number. I changed my email. I moved. So I, I'm not giving them shit. And I was like, dude, that, that is going to go wrong in so many ways, but you do you, bro. But, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, anyways, let me know if you guys want to hear more Taco Bell stories. I have, I have plenty. Um, some of them aren't that interesting, but the ones that I do plan on telling in the future are also pretty interesting. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, also, make sure to like comment and subscribe helps out the channel helps your boy get bigger on the platform and uh yeah my name is adrian asuno twizzles